My dad and I went to the local lake and this is the first flight of the giant foamy Home Depot spruce goose off the water. This is the third flight overall on the airplane. One thing that surprised me after I did get up in the air was that I had to completely retrim the airplane again. Uh, since the last flight I had painted it of course, I had added some foam to get the buoyancy and the way it rode on the water a little better. And uh, those things, I guess, combined uh, to change some of the trims. So the first flight was, uh, was not as smooth or as nice as I'd like. Here is one of the rolls I did, a slow roll I did in the uh, first flight uh, off the water. Third flight again overall. And here I've spliced together from the first flight a series of skims, splashes, and various kinds of ways of touching the water. You'll notice that it does handle very nice and does land very nice. That was a very nice skim and go. Another fairly nice skim and go. Another uh, sort of splash and then skim and go. Pulling up into a victory roll. Again, this aircraft uh, with five pounds of thrust static and a four pound total weight has plenty of vertical capability when I like to use the throttle. Most of these landings I was uh, bringing the throttle down to about a third and then taking it down to about a quarter for touchdown. I find it flies a little bit better if I keep some power on. Uh, here's a, a loop from the uh, first flight. You'll note in the uh, second flight over on the water, uh, since I had the trims all up and I was really concentrating more on just having fun and an air show, that uh, I do a much better job of uh, wowing the audience. I had collected quite a few kayaks and people on the uh, beach for the second flight. Here I'm coming by for just a nice flyby so you get a sense of the aircraft's looks. Uh, I did on the first flight roll it inverted and do a uh, low inverted pass. Uh, this doesn't look as low as it actually was. I was probably more like seven or eight feet off the water. But you didn't get the water in the frame to see that. There's a four point roll going downwind in preparation I believe for the final landing of the first flight. Landing Here you see me lining up and I sort of flew it into the water the, on this particular one. And of course it just sort of skips and uh, shakes it off. Uh, handling on the water was very good. I don't have a water rudder on this uh, plane but it does have a very large tail surface and it does pivot around the wetted surface very well. I'll be interested to see in windy conditions how well I can turn it, uh, but uh, certainly in these almost calm conditions it was excellent. But anyway, thanks for watching.